Alright people, deck profile for the Ignite deck, also the other normal pendulum deck. So, I am not the best Ignite player, nor do I claim to be, nor do I think it's the best deck in the world. But, I wanted to go ahead and try it out without, you know, having to, you know, replace something on Daily Dose. I'm like, well, Ignites are normal, and I'm using normal pendulums, let me just go ahead and try it out. So, I think this is actually the first time that, uh, two decks were actually considered normal pendulums on Daily Duels. And I kind of played them interchangeably, you know, I, I played Normal Pendulum, then I went to Ignite, and I was like, I don't like this, and I went back to Normal Pendulum. But, uh, still, uh, it's a fairly decent deck. Uh, it's kind of gimmicky, and it has some stupid exploits, and I will go over them. But, um, pretty much, do I think this is going to be a top tier deck? I don't think so. It's a little bit in too inconsistent. And by inconsistent, I mean, there's, a partic there's particular cards you need to turn situations, and if you don't get them then you're going to be in some trouble. So, yep. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and start off. So, we have Ignite Caliber. Um, he's a, he's like the strongest Ignite of 21, so, you know, they're weak. So, unlike normal Pendulum, I'm probably not going to be beating you down with them. <coughs> Which is definitely a problem, I must say. So, I run three of him because, you know, he's six and I like to go into rank sixes. Uh, you know, all the Ignites have this effect that if you have another Ignite card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can destroy both of them, and you get to go ahead and add one Fire or your Type Monster from your deck or Graveyard to your hand. So pretty much they get to search each other. So that's their, all their effects are that, all the normal Pendulums. And we have Triple of Ignite Riot. She doesn't have high attack, but uh, she's a 5, and I generally like to go into 5, so that's why I have her. Uh, then we have uh, this guy, Ignite Dragoff. He's a 17 beater. Uh, level 4. I probably could up him to 3, but I was still testing out other things. Uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to lean more with the 5s and 6s than the 4s, but you probably up the 4s. Like, you know, these guys could probably, these guys should be at 3. This, him and him. Because they're level 4 and you can go into, uh, him. I'll, I'll explain that play. And Musket, he's weak. There's 19 booty though, but it's all the same thing. And then these guys, you could probably run it too. You know, Eagle and Magnum, because yeah, they're level 3, you don't really go into that. Then I run one Rescue Hamster, I can only use its effect, uh, uh, once per duel, the uh, pretty much the present effect where, um, I can manage it to add my, add two face up, uh, Pendulum Monster with the same name for my extra back to my hand. I generally don't use the normal sound effect, I think I used it once, but mostly for its Pendulum effect, so I can go ahead and just banish out of Pendulum Zone, get my two scale back, and then just continue playing. Tried to exploit the number generator and only went at one. And we run Triple Magical, uh, Royal Magical Library, this card is stupid in this deck if you get off the plays. Because pretty much uh, activating your monsters in the Pendulum Scale counter is activating spells. So you pretty much summon this guy, put one in the scale, put a counter, put one in the scale, put a counter, blow them both up, search an ignite. Put one in the scale, put a counter, draw a card, you know, so uh, I, I can easily see ignites just being a Sakias Exodia deck with how much they draw and how much spell cards. You know, I wanted to go ahead and try this play. People were saying that I was busted. I wanted to see. It's inconsistent, really. It's, you know, if you run out of uh, steam, then it's pretty much over. So, um, it's okay. It's gimmicky, but hey. To summon a monk to get out uh, the Royal Magical Library as fast as possible, but also get out these guys as well. So. Uh, I actually decreased the amount of monsters and increased the amount of spells just to make sure that Summoner Monk had enough. Because at first I thought, you know, they count their spells in the hand, so Summoner Monk has a whole bunch, but then, no, they don't. They count his monsters in the hand, so Summoner Monk needs some spells to go ahead and pitch. So, I was like, alright, well, let me cut down the monsters and let me put some more spells for Summoner Monk to be happy with. So, Summoner Monk, pitch, spell, summon this, start going to town, or you can summon this, drop the bits, or you can summon this. So, uh, yep, there you go. Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight only has one drop drop uh, Zephyros. Uh, I'll explain the reason why Zephyros is in here. It's a, it's a really stupid combo. Once again, this deck is full of just exploits and it's gimmicky and sacky. And if I could, if you want to go ahead and throw the piece of Exodia in here, go, hey, more power to you. You know, if these counters like normal monsters, maybe you can run like, you know, uh, like Heart of the Underdog, piece of Exodia, and just, you know, Royal Magical Library, just keep drawing, just keep drawing, just keep drawing, just keep drawing. Just keep drawing. Stupid. Anyway, that, that's pretty much the monsters. 22 monsters find count with some search cards so triple rota because you know these guys are warriors and some of to get these guys quickly quicker too because this searches these this searches these uh Rigaki, once again wipe the opponent's field uh two dark factory mass production copying off of a normal pendulum i, I kind of felt like 
two is fine, three is cloggy, so yeah. Uh, once again, I prefer Polly over, um, uh, oh my god, Treason, what's it called? I forgot. Treason Substitute, I think? I don't know, I can't remember, I forgot the name of the card already. But, uh, I prefer Polly because I can fuse monsters in my hand, so if I can't Tundrum Summon, then I can at least use this instead of the other one. And Triple Upstart for more spell activation, so I can go activate Upstart, give them a thousand, put a counter on this, and draw a card, and then, you know, continue the plays. <coughs> Um, like I said, if I was going to make any change, I'd probably increase him to 3 and him to 3, because, uh, you want to use this more often. And then, Royal Cree, of course. Alright, Charger, uh, I ran 2 on the 7s, because there was one door, and I, when I ran out of 6s, and I was just like, god damn it, I wish I had another M7. So, you know, especially with Dark Factory, so, M7. Uh, this goes with this, so I'll explain that in this. Uh, Volk, Volk, because there's some 5, 101 Castell. Emerald, put the stuff back, Exiton, alright, uh, this guy, you know, uh, pretty much I make him with two or more level fours, uh, but if I have three Exceed Materials, I can detach, especially summon one, and actually have one monster that is one rank higher than this card, except for number of monsters, of course, being this, and then you go ahead and slap this on top, and then bam, you got fucking Infinity, off of rank fours, off of rank four, you, you've seen it a couple times, I know you have, and then the last stupid card in this deck to exploit plays, Master fucking Key Beetle. So pretty much, summon Master Key Beetle. You no, know, so this is what you do. You can go Armageddon Knight, send uh, Zephyros, put a monster in the Pendulum Zone, return the monster to Pendulum Zone, summon Zephyros, XC Armageddon Knight in the Zephyros and the Master Key Beetle, put the monster back in the Pendulum Zone, detach the material, target that monster, uh, detach the material, Master Key Beetle, target that monster. So I mean that Pendulum Scale so it can't be destroyed. And then pretty much you can uh, keep on putting the monster another Ignite in the Pendulum Scale, destroying just that one because then Master Key Beetle present the other one and getting still your search. It's fucking stupid. You just go put in the scale, destroy, search. You put in the scale, destroy, search. You can pretty much just get to go through all your Ignites in your goddamn deck. It's just fucking ridiculous. Like you are dumb. <laughs> like. Like, that shouldn't be a play, but yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's, it's a serious exploit, and you can do it, you know? Anyway. Uh, and then first dragons, because no monsters. So, like I said, if I was going to change anything, increase you, increase you, because that makes you more viable. I kind of forgot about you, because I never really did you, but yeah, increase you, increase you. Uh, you're probably not as important, but still kind of important, but isn't... Don't you... For you and your normal, your normal summon factor in your main phase, if you normal summon this card, it, and and it faced up level five or higher, oh or lower. All right, so so I just can't get you. I can get all you. So yeah, I didn't Chris you too, for more rank four place. So anyway, there you go. This deck is kind of dumb, inconsistent where it needs to be, but with the exploit of Master Key Beetle, I, and like I said, they they need a you know a rod of that or reword it or give us a ruling because right now with Dead Pro, it's dumb. Like they just keep on. Destroy one, grab one, destroy one, grab one, destroy one, grab one, destroy one, grab one, pen and summon all of them. You know, especially if you have a Royal Magical Library on the field, you're just going to be drawing up a storm, so it's kind of dumb. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. So tell me what you guys think about Ignites in the comment section below. So, uh, you guys get four daily duels today. Two deck profiles and then two videos with Stu and Stanzi, and I will be using Chaos Dragon. So, you really didn't get to see Infinity in this deck, but you'll be seeing Infinity in that Cyber Dragon deck. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys then.